Hi everybody, this is Aina. In this video, I'll share Japanese luxury food, unagi in Izumo. Let's go! Today, I came to Izumo. This is Japanese believed eel, unagi restaurant. Unagi is very rich food for people, and Izumo serves very unique unagi, which is mountain unatamado. Unagi is on the Japanese omelette and rice. It's over one kilogram. Inside of the restaurant is pretty big. There are plenty counter seats and some tables for groups. This is the menu. Izumo is unagi specialized shop, so there are so much food related to unagi. And it's also izakaya. So not only unagi, we can have other traditional Japanese food. Izakaya is like a pub or a bar in Japan. Of course, plenty kinds of drinks we can have such as beverage, beer, Japanese sake, etc. This is the one that I'll order for today. It's called Unatamadon. You'll be surprised its size. This is one of our table for filming today. It's a table for two people. This is really Izakai space. It's interesting. Let's see what's on the table. There are ready towels, dishes, skewer pot, seasoning bottles, ashtrays, and a menu. Japanese pepper is in the pepper meal. And the other bottle is ground chili. My dish, Unatamadon, has arrived. It's amazing! It's huge! This is Unatamadon. It costs 1980 yen. It's about 13.71 US dollars. As we can see, grilled eel is on top, seasoned bowl of rice is at the bottom, and Japanese omelette is between them. Every one of it is very big. Before we go, I need chopsticks. But this is interesting. Fortune telling is on the chopstick back. If I pick the luckiest one, I get some discount. Let's see it first. I got Shokichi. This is second the lowest level of fortune. Never mind. Let's go next. This is unagi, Japanese grilled ale. And underneath the unagi, very thick Japanese omelette is sandwiched. Unagi is seasoned by sweet soy sauce sauce. And its meat is really really soft and tasty. It has so much nutrition, so we usually have it in summer to feel energy. Japanese omelette is really thick. It's about 3 or 4 centimeters. As we can see, this is also really soft and jiggly. I guess it tastes really nice. Last one is rice. It's already seasoned by special unagi sauce. I'm sure this rice tastes marvelous. I also ordered grilled skewer unagi. They are all different part of unagi. First one is called Tanzaku. It's belly side of unagi meat. Next one is Kurikara. It's back side of unagi. Last one is Kimo. It's eel liver. All of them are seasoned by special unagi sauce. It's sweet yet salty and tasty. Let's have unatamadon and unakushi. Please subscribe my channel. Itadakimasu. Look at this size of unatamadon. It's huge, isn't it? I'll have only unagi first. It looks very nice. It's really tasty. I know it. This is really good. Unagi meat is really tender. This sauce is wonderful. It tastes slightly sweet. And yet, it's salty enough to taste. I'll have rice next. Wow, it's quite hard. I need to dig it up. Seasoned rice is really nice. I can taste some broth and soy sauce. It's not strong taste in contrast of the color. This rice is very much with unagi so much. Next one is Japanese omelette. Look at this thickness. It's awesome. This is so soft. I don't need to chew it. I thought it's seasoned by something, but it tastes very light. I guess some broth could be in it. Unagi and rice taste rich. That's why Japanese omelette tastes light. Look at this beautiful whole unagi. I want to bite into whole unagi rapaciously. I can't stand it. This is really extravagant. Wonderful. A shop staff brought me tea. What a great timing. I wanted it. Ah. 
This is Japanese green tea. It makes me really refresh. I ordered soup and pickled veggie combo. This is in liver soup. It's very common for unagi. This is called konomono, pickled Japanese radish. It usually tastes slightly sour and crunchy. Veggies are usually used for konomono. Types of veggies are different depending on the seasons or shops. It's good. It tastes really refresh and clear my mouth. Next is kimosui, eel liver soup. Ah, it's hot. I was really careless. I need to have it carefully. It tastes really light. One more sip. It's good. I can taste slightly broth of unagi, but that said, unatamadon tastes strong. So I think kimosui purposely tastes light. I also have unakushi. Let's try them one by one. This is tanzaku. It's soft and tasty. It's good. It's very grilled without steaming, so it's chewier than Unatamadon's unagi. It's reasonable and it tastes good. Next one is Kurikara. It's backside meat of unagi. It looks slightly different to Tanzaku. I'm a bit surprised. It's softer than Tanzaku, but it tastes good and roasty. It's cut thin and long, so the form of Kurikara is interesting. We can enjoy whole body of unagi. Last one is Kimo, eel liver. It's richer brown than others. It's really chewy. I thought it's more like organ, but it's close to beef, between lean meat and outside cod. It's good. I love this one the most. It's very good, so it doesn't taste like liver. It's more like meat. Actually, this eel liver is same as the one that Kimosui. These two are completely different, like taste, texture, and looking. So, this is all about Izumo and Unagi, Unatamado. To have unagi is sometimes very expensive, depends on where we have it. But Izumo serves unagi with reasonable price, and it tastes good. Izumo also serves izakai menu, so if you come to Izumo, you will definitely enjoy unagi menu. This unatamadon is too much for me. It's still left this much. If we pay for a takeaway container, we can bring back home. So I'll have one more bite and finish for this time. I'll have it later at home. Gochisousama deshita. Shop staff kindly packed my unatamadon. I'll take it home and enjoy once again. Give me a comment what you want to see. How was it? This is unagi. It tastes marvelous. We usually have it for celebrations or doing something good. If you haven't tried it yet, you'll be missing great Japanese culture. This is one of our greatest food. I have Twitter and Instagram accounts. Please follow me. If you have any requests, give me comments, like the video, and don't forget to subscribe my channel. This is all for today. See you in the next video. Bye!